Hello and welcome to Overclockers UK TV. Today we're looking at the new Radeon R9 series of graphics cards. The R9 290 and the R9 290X. Both graphics cards are full length 275mm graphics cards which take up two PCI slots. On the exterior of the cards you can see they both have two DVI ports, a HDMI and a display port. So let's have a look at some of the features that both cards possess. They both support DirectX 11.2, OpenGL 4.2, and Dolby True HD and DTS HD Master Audio support. They also support Crossfire up to four way, with native software Crossfire with no external bridge required. They also support gaming on 4K resolutions, Ultra HD, and Synergy with next game consoles, which is Mantle. So what is Mantle? Mantle is AMD's new proprietary technology designed to improve the communication and collaboration of CPU and GPUs together to improve graphical 3D performance. In essence, and simply put, it improves your gaming experience. We ran a series of benchmarks for the R9 290X. You can see here we ran benchmarks for the standard R9 290X card, the R9 290X when overclocked, and the standard R9 290X when used in two-way, three-way and four-way crossfire. The first benchmark we used was the Uni Engine Valley benchmark. The stock R9 card got 63.6 FPS and the overclocked card got 66 FPS. We then ran the Uni Engine Heaven benchmark where the stock R9 got 112.5 FPS and the overclock card got 118.2 FPS. We then ran a 3D Mark Firestrike, where the R9 scored 9,524 points, and the overclock card scored 10,448 points. We then upped the ante when set Firestrike to extreme, where the R9 card got 4,843 points, and the overclocked card 5,258 points. For testing's sake, we ran 3D Mark 11, where the R9 card scored 14,196 points. The overclocked card then scored 15,741 points. We also turned 3D Mark 11 up to extreme, where the R9 card scored 4,777 points and the overclocked card 4,980 points. It's worth mentioning that we applied a 10% overclock to the R9 290X, taking it from its 1000MHz stock speed to 1100MHz. Our friends at eTechnics have given the R9 290 and the R9 290X a thorough going over. So if you fancy reading their review and looking at even more benchmarks, then check out the link in the description below. Here at Overclockers, we stock a wide range of manufacturers for the R9 290 and the R9 290X, such as Asus, Gigabyte, MSI, HIS and Sapphire. We even stock our own brand R9290X, including a Tech Labs version, which has an improved air cooler. And if, even if that is not hardcore enough for you, we have a fully water-cooled version too. So that's all from me. For more information, check out the links in the description below. Goodbye.